Hey guys, we're here for round four of the Scottish Enduro Series. We're in um, cloudy in Erlithan, and uh, I'm here with local hero and SES ladies leader, Janie Kennedy, and we're gonna have a ride of stage one. And an interesting story behind that, this is a track I doubt many of you will have ever ridden. It is the old school downhill, and thanks to no fuss and the forestry working together, they have reopened it, and we get to race it this weekend. So it should be really good. Ready for a run, Jenny? Ready. Cool, let's do it. Whenever you're ready, Jenny, let's do it. So we start out on the open moor. It's a little bit breezy, so I'm sorry if there's a load of wind noise. It will calm down when we get into the trees. So, wow! A little bit of line choice, nothing too crazy. And Jenny's promised me that she's going to take it easy. Because I always struggle to keep up when I'm trying to talk. There's the sudden right hand there. <laughs> so this is cool, a little bit of fresh where they've been clear felling or thinning. So we're in nice, pine needly, fresh, rooty trees. This is where you'd be expecting it to be pitch black. But thanks to the thinning, it's really light in here. It's amazing. And it's also changed a little bit where the foresters have been across the track. The lines have moved. So even if you know this like the back of your hand, there will be little differences. And it's good, I like this track. Ooh, real hard to keep a flow going. Lots of little awkward holes, little roots that stop you from being able to pedal nicely. Oh, and a climb. Oh, what are you doing, Fraser? <laughs> this isn't what I pay for. <laughs> okay, it's just a punchy one, we're fine. Oh, that'll just get me to a nice solid 200 beats per minute on the old ticker. And then we're back downhill, down a little cheeky fire break. And then suddenly, what is this? What is this? Fresh and bumpy! <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, we cheeky gap. <sighs> so, I have a funny feeling we are approaching a fire road. Yes, yes we are. My internal GPS is not failing me. Oh, not ready for that junction though. Sweet. Top section done. Woohoo! Yeah, boy! Oh no, yeah, girl, even. Oh, this is the good stuff. Beautiful! It's just like the most vicious pump track in the world. <laughs> Whoa! I think if you had a BMX, those pump bumps would be about right. But for me, on the big old high tower, with the big wheels, feels more like braking bumps than pump bumps. But it's still great fun trying to negotiate it. Oh, yes. So good, I'm going to take a different line here. Oh, it's a bad choice. It was a bad choice. <laughs> and then we're diving back into the dark. The trees haven't been thinned here, so it's definitely a little bit harder for the eyes. Hope the GoPro is picking some of this out. And I've ridden this. I know this track. This is one of the classics I can remember in 2004, following a slightly younger Gary Forrest down this, which is something I do not recommend anyone tries to do, because his back wheel never follows the front. Woo! So if you try and follow him, you will crash. Gary was supposed to be here today. We were gonna have a three man, whoa, that was a big rock. A three man run. But Gary was too busy playing with diggers. But that's okay. Cause we got expert guide, Janie, leading me down here. Oh my God, branch to the face. Oh, nice. That is a lovely piece of track. That's going to be so much fun to race. A little breather down here. Stretch the fingers out. Oh, and finish. 
Oh, what a track. <laughs> that was amazing. Cool. <laughs> so stage one, that's an amazing track to throw everyone into the race for the weekend. It's a mix of old, it's a mix of new, and it is amazing, eh, Janie? Yeah, really good. So good. So uh, the race is this weekend. If you're coming along, you're in for a treat. And if you're coming to watch, we'll see you there. See you there. Bye, guys. Do I get lower? I'll sit in my tarp. There we go. <laughs> okay, perfect. Midget problems. <sighs> um, okay. What round are we at? 